What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna put a few catalyzers to the test in one of my oil stoves. A catalyzer is something that enhances a reaction. So in this case, the heat of the metal should increase the reaction of the burn and make it more efficient. If you're new to the channel, my name's Phil G and I make videos about oil stoves and DIY projects. So if you like what you see, drop me one of these cause it helps out the channel and makes us grow on YouTube. Here I laid out all the catalyzers we're gonna be trying out today. On the left we have the cylinder, the OEM, the splatter screen, and the strainer. So this is what it's gonna look like when we place it in. We're gonna to have to cut the handle off that splatter screen. For the strainer, we're gonna put it uh, convex, and then we're gonna turn it around and do it concave just to see if it makes any difference. So it should be interesting to see how that works. Once we do this one, we are gonna go with the cylinder. This actually came from an old oil stove I had. So we're just gonna place it in the center like that and see if it has any effect on the flame to burn any excess fumes. After that, we're also gonna do the OEM ring right here. So you can see it's missing a few fins. It's been used quite a bit. It came with this stove. Um, it sinks in a little deeper. So it should be interesting to see how this one affects the flames as well. Our setup is pretty easy. We got the stove popping out. The, uh, the chimney here is out of the door. It's a temporary setup. It's about a eight foot or nine foot length for the chimney, which is not ideal, but it should work for, for what we're doing today. We have our little custom gas tank here. So it's an old bucket just tapped in with the copper wire. And we're gonna fill that up with diesel and turn it on. So the temperature cold right now is 5.4 Celsius or 42 degrees Fahrenheit. And the chimney right here where you see the laser is about 6.7 Celsius or 44 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna turn on the regulator at the back. We see the oil flowing in the combustion chamber. And what we're gonna do today is actually try and light it with some steel wool. So just grab a little bit of it. You don't need much light it up. It should sparkle a little bit. Um, and the reason for this is to try and reduce the residue in the burning pan here. So it actually uh, lights up the oil quite good. And once we get a nice flame there, it catches fire. Well, we can close the door and leave it for about 10 minutes. And we're gonna take the temperature after it stabilizes. So that's what the flame looks like without any catalyzer in it. So it's just the burning pan and that is it. Um, there's no fan or anything blowing on the, on the flame. And we can see the damper at the back is working. So it's opening as it should. And after 10 minutes, we have about 134 Celsius or 276 degrees Fahrenheit. And the chimney is about 74 Celsius or 161 Fahrenheit. So I place a little coin here, just to have a reference. So I take the temperature at the exact same spot. So after about 20 minutes, you can see it heated up a little bit. And same thing for the chimney. So that's what it looks like right now. Again, this is what it looks like before we put any catalyzer in. And we're actually gonna start with the OEM ring here. It's not the ideal test because we are missing fins, but uh, it should give us a good idea of how it affects the flame actually. So we can see the flame is reduced. It's a little more controlled, uh, which is what we're looking for because the, the less yellow in the flame, the more we could see it's actually burning the fume. So it's actually working quite well. And we're going to take temperature. I left it for about 10 minutes. And same thing with the chimney. Next, we're gonna do the cylinder. So this again came from an old oil stove. Uh, very simple, it's two cylinders kind of welded on a plate at the bottom. So uh, the idea for this is to heat up the metal and burn off the flames. So what I like about this one is it actually directs the flames uh, vertical. So you can see in the middle there, it kind of shoots them up and we get a nice burn. We can see some blue flames uh, where the fire's coming out. 
and here's the temperature at the top of the stove and for the chimney so quite good as well next is the strainer here spaghetti strainer from the dollar store so we can see the um, the net or the metal mesh is pretty pretty thin it is stainless steel so I think this one will actually burn through at some point but um, here it is in the convex uh, mode so with the dome facing up kind of interesting actually because we can see there's some flames on the right there that are actually burning the fumes so not too bad take the top temperature and the chimney as well so not too bad actually if you have nothing else and now with the con cave this is kind of cool because you can see all the flames in the middle kind of reigniting and burning off so this i think is pretty effective um, because it's actually relighting those fumes there as we can see it's like flames are dancing so this is not slow motion same thing with temperature at the top of the stove and then the chimney as well so for all these tests we do have the setting at the regulator the back stove to about two or three next one is the splatter screen so this one's going to lay flat we did take a grinder to the handle to uh, cut off that rubber part uh, and make sure it fits in the stove. Kind of neat as well, you see the fumes that are being reignited at the top and it's actually directing a lot of the flames in the middle of the stove. So the netting or the screen is getting red, red hot. Um, I think it'll burn a hole through this if you use it a few times. So we'll see how warm it is. So pretty good as well and for the chimney and so far the glass has not fogged up or anything so but the garage has as you can see every time i open the door i'm gonna get uh, that's probably why my voice is all uh, bad like this so here we put everything together we have the cylinder we have the splatter screen and the strainer just to do an ultimate test to see how this affects the heat so not too bad as well. We're gonna check the chimney. So we still get a nice heat. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna crank the stove uh, to the max. So we're gonna go to the control knob at the back, set the regulator to number six, and look how the flame actually dances at the top. So the flame is not even attached to the strainer there, and it's kind of dancing. So this is all the fumes being burnt. So we have a lot of heat here. We have three catalyzers that are trying to heat up the flame as much as possible. So very, very neat. Um, I think this is working quite good, actually. And you can see here after it regulated after about 10, 20 minutes, you see all those flames kind of dancing at the top. So yeah, very, very neat. You see the, the powerful jets on the side of the burner. And these ones right here kind of chilling at the top. So without the catalyzers, we'd probably not get those uh, efficiencies. Heat is quite well as well. And the chimney <clears throat> obviously heated up quite a bit. Now watch what happens when I open the door. So the flames kind of go all over the place, but they're very, very controlled actually. So this is quite cool because usually when I open the door, the flame comes right out of the stove and we're gonna try that later on as well. So I'm gonna take the strainer off just to see the difference. So the splatter screen is still in there as well as the cylinder. So the flame here is now less controlled so the top catalyzer is off. And we're just going to see how it burns with the two. So we have the cylinder and the splatter screen. So we get that nice dancing flame at the top as well which is, which is pretty cool. So this is after about 10 minutes. That dancing flame has gone away but we can see the screen got red red hot there. And the middle, I think it's because of the cylinder that's in place. Um, we get a dark spot, which is kind of weird. 
So we're going to take the temperature here. And same thing for the chimney. So still pretty good. What we're gonna do now is take the splatter screen off so we could see the flame is no longer controlled. It's going all over the place, even coming out of the stove. So once we close the door here, let's see what happens. And at this point, the catalyzer in the middle, the cylinder is super hot. So you can see how it controls the flame and tries to burn off the uh, fumes there as well. So pretty good overall. Here's a little bonus. I made a little aluminum one. So aluminum melts at uh, lower temperatures than steel. So I do expect this to melt, but uh, out of curiosity, I want to try it anyway. Hard to see, but you see the aluminum fins, they just melted and they're dripping inside the pan. So don't try anything with aluminum in any of your stoves because yeah, aluminum melts at lower temperatures than steel and you're just gonna make yourself a mess. So do not put aluminum in your stoves, but still pretty cool to see it happen. And that is it for today. So in conclusion, we could see that any catalyzer worked actually fairly well. In my opinion, the OEM worked the best. If you have an oil stove or any kind of stove without a catalyzer, you could probably throw something in there to make it burn a little better. But the more things you throw in there, it, does, it doesn't actually help overall. So just put one catalyzer in there and that should be enough. Again, comment below if you wanna see any specific videos and we'll see you next time.